What's up guys, I'm Warm Bones here, coming to y'all once again. Uh, today, as you can see here, as you can read by the title as well, a rare system review. This is actually called the Coleco Atom, uh, the Atom uh, Family Computer, as it's better known. Um, for those of you who don't know, Atom Family Computer was more or less like the successor to the ColecoVision, kind of. It's hard to describe. It's basically a computer with a ColecoVision in it. It was really Coleco's attempt to make it into the uh, home computer market. Uh, Guys, the uh, Coleco Atom is a really, really interesting computer, and I was actually planning to make this video sometime last week when I actually acquired the system, but uh, I really got delayed, so uh, I'm, I'm posting the video now, and uh, I really do hope you guys enjoy this. This is going to be the uh, rare system review of the Coleco Atom. As you can see here, it's boxed complete. There are some minor flaws with the box, such as this bit right here and that right there. There's a little bit of tape on the box as well. Um, that doesn't matter though. That doesn't matter though, guys. The uh, system is 100% mint condition, and I really, really wanted to uh, apologize as well for that terrible lighting there. Uh, but let me let me talk about the Coleco Atom itself before I actually get into this. Uh, as I said, guys, the Coleco Atom was uh, Coleco's actual uh, attempt to make it into the home computer market. It was introduced in 1983 at the Consumer Electronics Show. It was meant to be a cost-effective alternative for those people out there who were forced into buying uh, Commodore 64s or uh, say Atari 800 XLs. Uh, the reason it's cost effective is because it already includes a printer or uh, what they call it's an electronic typewriter. Um, it really, it, and as well as a tape drive, the tape drive is built right into the memory console right there. Uh, it's really, it was really meant to be cost effective, but uh, unfortunately when it actually displayed or it, when it originally came out uh, later in 1983, I believe it was December 1983, about six months after the uh, initial showing, uh, the price had jumped from $525 to $725, guys, and that's just insane. Uh, there was another cost-effective alternative, though, for those of you out there who actually did own a ColecoVision, the actual ColecoVision system. Uh, you could uh, you could uh, make the Atom into an expansion module three. There was a third, uh, there was a second variation of the Atom and a third variation of the expansion modules that you plugged into your uh, ColecoVision, and it basically took away the need for the uh, memory console, but it did play, it did. Um, it gave you the option to still have the tape drive as well with the printer and the keyboard. Uh, it's a really interesting alternative, guys, although um, I believe these are actually rare. The standalone computers are a little bit rarer than the actual Model 3s. not 100% certain, though. I'm not a huge... Uh, I don't really know a huge amount about the Atom. Uh, what I wanted to talk about, though, guys, there was a few other flaws with the system. Uh, there's only 50% of the tape drives initially worked when it was released on day one. Uh, a lot of these had uh, a defective uh, Super Game Pack tapes as well as defective actual tape drives. So that required, that was a huge flop already to a, a waning market in that 1983 period. That's really a little bit after the video game crash. So people were wary about buying these types of things. And once the uh, price jumped and the uh, models were actually defective, uh, people really stayed away from the Atom. Unfortunately, guys, there's also one other fatal flaw. If the uh, printer that right here, the printer isn't included, uh, or if the printer is defective, uh, the system itself doesn't work, and that's really due because the fact the uh, printer powers up the entire system. There's a cord that connects to the printer, and then the cord that from the printer connects to the console, and then the keyboard plugs into the console. I'll show you that guy. I'll show you that in a little bit, guys. Though. But one last thing I want to mention, though, guys, uh, the Coleco item really caused Coleco to go bankrupt. Uh, less than 100,000 units were sold in total. That's in a two-year span. Uh, they were expecting to sell 500,000 in six months. And uh, really, they really flopped with this, guys. It, it bankrupted the company, and they went under. Uh, it's a sad thing, guys. Coleco's a great company, and the Atom is a really, really interesting computer. All right, guys, I'm actually going to apologize once again for the uh, shaky camera work here. This is going to be a little bit uh, a little bit shaky, so you might want to look away if you're motion sick. Uh, this is the Coleco Atom itself, the computer, the memory console right here. Uh, this is the tape drive as well. Uh, you can insert your tapes right in there. Uh, this restarts the computer and it also uh, restarts the cartridges. You insert the cartridges right there. Um, right here is the main component to the Coleco Atom though. This is the printer. This is basically what uh, starts up the system. And it's basically an another reason, uh, another huge reason why people bought these back then. It, when you did buy one, you bought them because of this printer. It's an electronic typewriter basically. Uh, what that means is it's really, uh, uh, it's, I can't really describe it. You'll, I'll see it. You'll see in a sec when I do power it up. But uh, it's a really, really interesting feature, guys. Uh, what I'm going to do, actually, I'll, th I'll turn on the switch. The power switch is behind the system, so I apologize again for the sh shaky camera work there. Uh, as you can see now, it's powered on. Uh, I'll move the old Commodore paper out of the way. 
But say if I hit the uh, letter H there, just you can actually really hear that. It actually sounds just like a typewriter. It's a really, really loud thing, though. Uh, I'm going to actually power this on right now, so you're going to go in the dark for a second here. But this is the basic uh, look of the Coleco Atom. Memory console right there, printer right there, and the actual keyboard right here with the uh, Coleco controller. Uh, one other thing to note, this guy, this guy right here actually can be replaced by a Sega Genesis controller, and it does work on the actual Coleco Vision. Alright guys, here we go. As you can see, all the H's that I was hitting right there. Uh, this is the basic startup program when you turn on the Coleco Atom. Uh, I'm actually going to throw on one of the tape games. I haven't actually tested this one out, so let's really hope it works. Uh, you won't be able to see it, and I know you won't be able to see it, but that is uh, Donkey Kong. Uh, I'll try to hold it up to light there. That's Donkey Kong on the uh, Super Game Pack. Uh, one funny thing to note, uh, this, game isn't a this game actually isn't supposed to exist. Uh, at the time, Atari actually had all the uh, rights to... Um, to Nintendo's game Donkey Kong, uh, it had all the computer rights to the game, uh, so Coleco could actually uh, po um, make the ports of the of Donkey Kong on the Coleco Vision, but they couldn't actually legally make a game for the computer. They couldn't make this tape, so uh, this game isn't actually supposed to exist. It's not really rare, but it's not supposed to exist either. So again, I apologize for the shaky camera work here, and we're gonna test this out. So bear with me here, guys. This might take a, little, a few minutes to load up. Alright, here we go guys, I'm going to flip the switch. This is the loading screen, and you can obviously hear the tape being rewound. Here we go guys, this is uh, Donkey Kong on the tape, on a tape, for the Coleco Atom. And again, I actually, I want to mention, I, um, one of the things I've been noticing are comments regarding the uh, terrible audio quality, uh, a loud buzzing noise. Uh, that's actually really because the microphone is a little bit too close to my face, and I want to apologize for that, guys. I'm just really trying to make the audio, uh, the audio, the audio decent enough, because I know before I've heard uh, comments that it's too quiet as well. So I want to apologize for those of you who've been getting those buzzing noises, and I also wanted to say thank you for those of you who've just been staying tuned. Uh, I'm going to hit the Coleco controller here, and one player, obviously. So I'll go with skill one, just because I'm not very good at Donkey Kong. Oops, sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. And I know you're not going to be able to see much. It's a really just a, a big glare. Uh, so here we go. 25 meters, how high can you get? I'm going to be terrible at this though guys, just because just cause I'm really trying to play this with one hand while holding this tripod. And there we go guys, I'm dead. Uh, this is the Coleco Autumn guys, I really want to thank you for watching this. It's a really intriguing system, and it's a shame that it wasn't really released uh, with enough units. And it was a shame that really uh, a, lot of def a lot of them were defective. And um... Really, guys, it's a huge shame that Coleco went under because of it. Uh, I wanted to thank you again for watching, guys. Uh, Namu and Bones here saying stay tuned for future videos.